Why are you here? Why are any of you watching and listening to this? The demo is out. It's been out since Sunday, which is a day earlier than expected. Go play it. It's free. Download it. I mean, unless you've hit a bunch of snags or something, you should be doing that instead of listening to me. Well, I guess since you're still here, I will continue with the meat of the episode. Been warned. Been given the info. So we have these squads of 16. I want to talk about a bit of a combat mechanic here before we get into the meat. Because I wasn't aware of this. This does not apply to the mechs or ships that only have a squad of one. But you can partially damage these and still get a mitigating effect on what they're going to fire back at you with. And I thought it was just a cosmetic thing. But... 70 combat power if we take a shot. They're down to 9. Obviously we know their health is going to be reduced, but they're firing back with less, and they're down to a squad of 2 out of the original 16. And of course, this can be useful especially towards the end of a turn. Is if you can't knock out a unit completely, then knocking an infantry down part way is still going to help you in the long run. Or perhaps in a fight with a lot of different infantry units, it might be better to take down one, even partially, that's going to have more firepower coming back at you, as opposed to trying to take out the most numbers of units in that battle. So, could be useful to know. Our top priority is to get into some basic flying vehicles and not rely entirely on our androids for the AI to get things done. We're also going to be doing some contemplations that we hadn't done yet. And going forward in Chapter 1, there should be some more exciting capabilities for our AI coming up in pretty much every episode. It's going to start accelerating a little more. We have refinery overdrivers that I built in between episodes, aka weird looking trees. And these are going to boost our micro builder production in each of the subnets that we have those down in. So that should really help us out in not waiting as long to get building done in some cases. So let's get to... Some contemplating. And we have level 1 clearance. This requires level 2 and must be PMC imposter. Same for that one. Level 3 must be PMC imposter. Okay, this one, contemplate PMC appearance. That looks more promising. We have a quiet scan. No problem with the engineering skill check. Hmm. Perhaps the scan wasn't so quiet. Black Loop appears to be a might perturbed, but we get nondescript armor, allowing us to build our fifth different android type, the PMC Imposter, and that will allow us to continue down this path once we have that ready. Let's just get out of here and leave those fun fellows alone. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the mobility, given these choices. And we'll do the armor research. For our flying ambitions, we need to switch to Street Sense and commandeer a small vehicle. There we go. They usually place one close by for that. Vehicular security patch, they're not going to wait very long this time. That's going to be the only one we can steal, but we'll learn from that how to make our own, and it's a start down this path. And of course, they're going to want us to fix the equipment issues, so let's do that. The HOS Cutlass is our randomly assigned name. The shields option for vehicles is going to allow them to use the same function that Take Cover does for your androids, just going to reduce incoming damage, but they can't move. And then their actual movement, pretty darn good. It is almost the entire city actually from a place near the middle so that's definitely going to be an asset for them meanwhile we'll just hop over here a little bit and we really don't have anything else we can do usefully until this research is concluded there we are completed nondescript armor research we'll need vehicular development to continue on with our flying goals and We'll switch one of these over to the imposter. That should be it for our turn spamming for a while because we have novel aircraft. We're going to eventually need to build a cutter, 
There's some more research required before that. Scandium acquisition. That'll be required for any aircraft. Atmosphere only will need to be researched next. Scavenger's Eye is this backpack icon here, and that's going to allow us to see sites where we can scavenge the Scandium, and also later on there will be other materials that we can get in those locations. And anti-grav airframes. Then we'll upgrade our max vehicles from two to three. Now we could proceed with the Scandium right now, but there's going to be a lot more hitting us in just a moment, so I'm going to wait on that. An observed flight, next step. And then paving over squalor, that's going to allow us to put up our structures over the small human shacks and homeless tents and all of that. And that will be increasingly necessary as we continue to expand our operations. Force shutdown, our first drone type. Drones are deployed by flying vehicles. And this one, the engine drill, will allow us to slow down and or stop vehicles being flown by other groups. In the hope that we won't have to be constantly chasing them halfway across the city. And of course, it's probably a good idea to be able to build the drones and maybe a good idea to command them. So these are augments for our flying vehicles to be able to do that more effectively. Overflow housing. This goes with the paving over squalor. Building a refugee tower gives those people somewhere to go when you've displaced them. Otherwise, they die of exposure. The refugee tower are not going to take in just your generic homeless people, only people that you've done the paving over aspect with. And so we're going to definitely grab that research. And aerospace hangar placement. This is important what it says here. You want them to be as far away from military bases as you reasonably can because it'll limit how much they'll get shot at when they fly out of the hangar. All right, research. Let's grab our unobserved flight and do a bit of building. So we're going to hop into our refugee tower and plunk that down somewhere. This looks reasonable to me. Then let's get the hangar as our next goal. And you can see that's a big sucker. So I think this over here, I kind of wanted to reserve this area for it in case I didn't have a better one. I don't think I do. It's like getting blocked by something. There we go. Just enough room for it. Barely made it fit. Now that is 8,400 micro builders. So how many do we have left? <laughs> Not hardly any. We need to wait a bit before we can build the drone factory, which is our last section we want to do on the current construction. But on the other hand, our technician here, this is a, another mechanic that I had not fully understood and probably should have used more earlier. Structural engineering, we can speed up the construction of a building and of course this is going to be best done with a technician, gives them more value because it's based on engineering skill of which they have quite a bit. So this is going to just hop in there and help us not to have to wait quite as long for that. And now we can think about actually going after the Scandium. So let's see, we're going to need our scavenging. We have one target. It's a military troop carrier and we just need to grab one of our combat units and make its acquaintance. So we'll just try to hop over here. This is much like the cruiser battle when we were doing water purification. We want to be at a high elevation and we want to have armor piercing. We're near the military but we're not quite in it so we should be okay. These have, if you notice, 61, looking at the tooltip on the left, I know they're kind of overlapping, 61 powered armor. So we're going to want at least that much armor penetration, which means a couple of these. And that also pretty much runs us out of actions that we can take. So we'll have to wait and see on it, but at least we're close to it and in position. Okay, weaponized flight is our next idea as we move closer and closer and this one is the one that's going to be able to get us to build that cutter it looks like so where did our all the way over here okay well that was annoying but we're still going to pursue it so that's a pretty good place and a single recharge should do us 
Bingo. Very nice. They say, well, you did a really good job on that extraction. Congratulations. Now, you didn't get hardly any scandium from it. Don't blow it all up next time. I mean, we, we did what we could do. But the extraction is going to work much better if we use extraction drones. So there's another kind of drone that we can use. And then sublimating boreholes, those are armor piercing rounds that are actually large enough for our flying vehicles to use them, not just our androids. So, okay. We are going to hold off a bit on that extraction. Obviously, we've got some building that needs to be done. And you know what? I'm just going to leave you there. Do we have enough? We do not have enough for our drones just yet. Can we set this up? can't set it to cutter because we haven't quite invented it yet. Okay. And our PMC imposter is ready though. Let's get them deployed. And then we can begin sending you out somewhere. So we've got, okay, not enough security clearance for that. And this is level one. These are level two. And we could go in any direction that we wanted to other than the level three, but we'll switch over to this. Can't quite get there on this turn. Yes, it wants me to deal with your missing equipment. Fair. And generally gonna go with intelligence on these. I'm not playing on having them do a great deal of fighting. Which isn't to say they aren't reasonably capable at it. Novel vehicle. So this is a good point to keep in mind. When you invent a new type of vehicle that all the other corporations don't use, the humans get kind of scared by this is freaky. What's this freaky new thing? What can this do? We're not sure. We're going to shoot it twice to make sure that everything's fine. So they will be hostile to them, and we're going to have to work around that. Vehicles in combat are not as good as frontline androids, but they have... Obviously, the mobility, they've got a wider variety of capabilities that they're going to have. And those will, of course, increase over time. Got a weaponized flight in. So let's go with more vehicular development. And, of course, these locations move. But I think we're going to continue up this way. We have a black market merchandiser. She carefully ignores you. Love the writing. And she's kind of nervous. I might be as well. She doesn't have a whole lot that's worthwhile for us, but this 3,000 wealth is the first thing we spent wealth on. That's why we did all those wiretaps earlier. We've got some consumer goods. We've got some fine goods, and we weren't aware of either of those resources before. So, okay, that's not a lot, but it's not nothing, and we didn't pay much for it. Black market tradesmen. And he seems maybe a little more controlled, but also maybe a bit nervous. Murder him for some reason. That option has always got to be there, but uh, no. Buy a bit of everything. And he seems to be happy with his sale. More consumer goods, and we have some possible inventions. So we're going to start stockpiling research ideas here much faster than we can actually get them done. Now, we still can't do the level three. Just enough room here, and this is the PMC officer sigil. We need that to get to the level three. And okay, this must be a PMC imposter. We're gonna wait and ambush the officer. Took a few hours. You can murder them and take what you need, but in this case, it says it's actually the safest course of action. Overpower them, but leave them alive. Requires the sublimating shells, armor piercing, which we have. Backlash may be intense. Okay, fine. In this case, we'll take the safe route and kill them. The pieces of the officer are all hidden. Was that entirely necessary? I have the feeling that it wasn't. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the end of what we can do for that turn, but it was quite productive, and let's definitely make sure that we equip that PMC officer sigil. Okay. Last one of these to go. 
black market assistant. And noticeably, appears to be overworked, but they're not as nervous. They seem to be a little bit higher up the food chain. They're a little more comfortable or maybe jaded, whatever it is, but they've gotten more used to their trade. Ask what they have in stock. Okay. There's some good stuff here, and notice they're planting hints for the future, not going to divulge their larger stock to people they don't know. In other words, this is sort of an appetizer, and maybe we'll be able to do more at another time. Purchase establishes trust. So more ideas for invention. Okay. We still have almost 100,000 left. We've got the consumer in fine goods that we can't really do anything with at the moment. Okay, what do we want here? So, we can go a variety of directions, but I actually like the idea of building up my armor more on the combat vehicles and having some powered armor so that not just anything can cut through it. It's not a bad idea to me, so we'll just go ahead and throw that in there. I think Paving Over Squalor will hit next. Of course, could pick anything on that list, but we can tell that we're done with Contemplations by the fact this is completely ghosted out and can't even be selected. Which means, I'm not really interested in having this PMC around anymore. Let's just deploy a combat unit to replace them. And now I think we're ready to go after some of this. Let's see how we're doing over here. The unassisted version of this would have taken eight turns to put up. It's actually already built and the job installation's almost in and then it'll switch to the basement turn. So we can begin on that. It looks like we do have enough now. I'm going to throw the drone factory next to it. Don't need to, but it seems convenient to me. And, okay, that's going to take four turns. But I think what we'll do is we'll switch you. That'll probably even things out a little bit more for us to get that done a bit faster. Meanwhile, we want to find our there it is. Now there's differing opinions on how you should go about this. I am going to put the drone command circuits on our delivery craft. It's not actually as good with the drones, but the cutlass is hard to get to those places because it's going to run into all the military bases a lot of the time and it's just going to have a lot of trouble not getting shot at. So that's my preferred method of it. Let's take a look at our scavenging sites. And we are going to, let's see what's going to happen here. Way up there, okay. It's going to take some time to get there. And they may not even still be there when we're ready to go after them. But we'll see. They're coming our way. Okay, that's a good sign. Let's slap you over there. And I'm going to want a couple... Paving over Squalor is completed. Outstanding. Go with Procurement next. Let's have you move into the general vicinity. But I'm going to want a couple of combat units. And the idea here is we want to weaken them to the point where the drones can be effective. Which means it's going to be useful to have like one with armor piercing and one without armor piercing. I think the bile mulchers are a reasonable choice. More procurement. Now you're right in position here. So this is about as good as it's probably going to get. Let's see if we can find... Is that going to be nearby close enough, I wonder? Yeah, because they're coming over this. Well, maybe we'll just go over here. Pretty sure that's close enough. Let's uh, do a recharge. And let's see what your... Your drone resistance is 64. Hmm. I think I can afford doing one more. Yeah, that'll knock it down good. And now it's down to 90%. And do we have any... Got one. I want to do an engine drill on you. I want to keep you in place. Okay. And you're just kind of going to absorb 
whatever. Let's get you on a building somewhere. I'd like to have you take cover, but I ran out of actions to be able to do that, which is fine. Okay, yeah, you, you took a nice big hit there, but it was worth it. Slurry spiders, I think. Maybe we switch to martial expansion. And let's just check real quick. Because I think... Yeah. We can deploy our cutter. Which you can see is going to be attacked. So let's just move it to somewhere where maybe that won't happen. Takes a bit of damage. But it gets out of the way. Again, we could use the shields if we wanted. I don't want to spend a bunch of actions on that. But that is finished. And of course, we can see... Okay, it's got much more attack. Combat power, 252. And it's got the 8 powered armor now. So it's going to be looking a lot better. And we'll just go with one of each here. To make everybody happy. Okay. Let's hop down here and let's see where we're, engines offline 61. So not entirely, it just moves slower. We'd have to get over a hundred on the engines offline in order to completely stop it. But I think that should be enough. It's pretty weak. Drone resistance is now only seven. So you. Are going to I'm just gonna make sure we've got it properly targeted it can be hard to see from that view there we go and now we just have to kind of follow it and watch it and you know what I'll just have you take cover for all the good it's gonna do you you as well and I think we just see what it does yep a lot less damage thank you it is being extracted so now we just wait which cap do we want? Boy, it's hard to argue with the max androids. Having more out there at once? Yes, please. More martial expansion. Sit you with another... Oh, already at stack limit. Okay, so we can't hit you with another drone. But it's always worth giving those things a shot. Repair our other android over there. Okay. An extraction project is complete. Outstanding. And let's see, yeah, I think upping the android chamber cap would probably be next. We'll go with vehicular development. Now, these next two dialogues, these are going to be, let's find our technician. We're not actually going to do these because this is going to be the subject matter for our next episode. But, okay. We're going to be talking to AGI researchers. Ever hear from Atroshka Brain? This is the start of our Android actually getting smarter. We've been at class one intelligence for the whole time. We're gonna be taking that up a step. Then if we go to the other one, sheltered citizens. So they're concerned about conditions in the apartments we have set up for them. So those are the two twin things that we are gonna be looking at when we return. Thanks everybody for watching. The excitement will continue to ramp up, at least I hope, as we move forward with Heart of the Machine. See you then.